Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It's always an honor, Soul Family, to have you a part of this spiritual journey with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Soul Family. And welcome around to the ones that are new here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the content here, Aries, with who you know the reading today may resonate for. And welcome back to the beautiful souls that are returning. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. All right, be sure to set your bells for when I go live on this platform. I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started, all right? I also go live for questions as well. So that way you don't miss out on any new content that I post on this channel on a daily basis. Be sure to set your bells and smash that like button, all right? So no further ado, Aries. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see about this person here that is on your mind. Wow, we have the Knight of Swords energy here. This is air elements here, all right? Some of you know this person here could be Aquarius or they could be a Capricorn here with the Knight of Swords energy or they could be a Gemini or a Libra here, okay? So this person here that's on your mind, you're going to get some type of pop-up phone call, pop-up in person, okay? Some type of unexpected news or information from this person here. Someone is coming in very quickly here. They feel like they have to tell you some very important news, something that they want to share with you here. All right. This again could be an air sign here. We're going to clarify that, get more insight on this Knight of Swords energy here. This is someone that's going to be coming in very quickly and unexpectedly here. Something here that they feel like that they have to think fast for or take action quickly behind here. Someone is very ambitious about this as well. <laughs> so this could be good news, but they're just so excited and anxious to tell you about it. All right, for some of you all, but we're definitely going to clarify that energy. Again, this could also be an air sign here. Wow. Yeah. So it looks like the news here is that they want a new beginning with you here, Aries. Okay. This is someone that realized now I have an opportunity here to come towards Aries here with this love offer. Okay. Someone is ready to have an opportunity with you and unconditional love at that. Okay. Some of you all, this person here could be a water sign. All right, that could be a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Scorpio for some of y'all. We're definitely going to clarify the energy here today. Wow, we got the Seven of Wands in reverse. I mean, that's good for me. That's letting me know that the Seven of well, that could also mean giving up. Because when the Seven of Wands is in the upright, that's someone that's consistent with protecting their self and their energy. They're consistent with going up against a challenge here. But when it's in reverse, you know, it also could indicate someone letting their guard down and not putting that guard up here, right? So I feel like maybe this person held back with their emotions and their feelings here towards you with the Ace of Cups here. Maybe you always had to feel like you have to squeeze something out of this person just for them to express themselves with you. But it definitely looks like someone here is putting their guard down or letting their guard down and opening up more to you here with this Ace of Cups here. Some of you all, this person here could also be a fire sign like yourself. They could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here. All right. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have Sagittarius energy. Um, this card talks about Burton. Okay. This card also talks about having the faith and trying to set boundaries for yourself here, Aries. So I feel like there could be someone from your past that wants to return to you, that wants to share whatever this news here is. And they feel like that this would be a part or an opportunity for them to be able to come towards you with a new beginning here. But some of you are, like I mentioned, you may have held your guard up for so long that at this point, you may feel like you want to let your guard down from this person here. Let's get some clarity on this. Let's start with the Knight of Swords energy here, Aries. Wow, definitely with the reading here so far, Aries, is resonating with you. Don't forget to smash that like button, loves, all right? That'd be very much appreciated, okay? Clarify the Knight of Swords here for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Swords here, please. Why do we have the Knight of Swords here for this energy that's rushing in here anxiously? 
Tell me more about this energy here, please. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. The Moon card. Yeah, like I said, this person was holding back. For what reason? I don't know. We're going to clarify the Moon card here as well. But this person, I feel like they was only picking and choosing how much energy or how much information about how they felt about you or just with their emotions. This could have been someone that's not good with expressing their emotions or they've always just kept their feelings inside. Um, and I feel like because of that, you may have pushed back from this person or, you know, not so much trying to stand over this person. So you kind of just remove yourself from this person's energy to give them that space and things like that. And I feel like that's what maybe brought this person back or gave them a push here. All right. Some of you all, this person here could be a Pisces as well with the moon card here. Or they could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Let's clarify the moon card here, Aries. Let's see what was this that was kept secret here that this person is anxiously ready to tell you about here. Clarify the moon card here for Aries energy, please. Why we have the moon card here? What was this person keeping from Aries? Why do we have the moon card here, please? And thank you. All right, we got cards that jumped under the table. We got the Eight of Pentacles coming out sideways. So that was kind of a challenge here for this person here um, to, you know, the ego, the, the you know, <laughs> trying to maybe deny their feelings for you. I feel like your Aries, what kept this person from opening up to you with the Eight of Pentacles being sideways because any card that comes out sideways is indicating that there was a challenge there with this person emotionally open up to you here with the moon card the moon represents our feelings and our emotions as well here uh this person here you may met this person at your working environment here this may could have been what was difficult for this person to do it maybe was a lack of um you know motivation this person didn't want to put in the work here okay we got yeah the three of swords and this is why i feel like because this person maybe previously came from another relationship that was very overwhelming or difficult for them to overcome so this could kind of make sense of why they held back from you or why they couldn't be as open with you because they may could have still been trying to heal here obviously from a situation where they previously got their heart broken from here in the past, okay? This, again, could also be an air sign, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, or, again, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. But this is what the challenge here was when you just simply wanted this person to communicate with you and open up. And they were very much so having a difficult time. Rather, they told you this or not. But this is what it's been this whole entire time here. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups here, please. Wow, Aries. Again, definitely smash that like button if the messages here today are resonating for you. If it's making sense for you, it's, if it's confirming everything that you intuitively picked up about this person, again, like, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. All right. Share this message in this video with who you know the reading today may resonate for. If you would love to book a personal reading, Aries, my email details is down below. If you're kind of wanting to see what is a potential outcome with you and this person in the near future. All right. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Again, some of y'all, this person could be a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Scorpio here as well with the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, look at that. We got the Ace of Wands. Now they want a new beginning with you. Now this person wants to take action. So whatever, again, that was this roadblock here, which I feel like was this Three of Swords energy because they were still hurt, you know, um, and it was difficult for them to open up again. They could have felt like, you know, the same way I was treated in the past. They could have been, you know, nervous or scared that you maybe was going to do the same thing. Could have been all type of reasons. I'm just giving different scenarios, Aries, okay? Um, but this person clearly still had a broken heart is why they wasn't able to open up their heart to you, okay? But now that that has changed, now that they've been able to let their guard down over here, now that they're in a better space, I feel like mentally is why they're wanting to so strongly come towards you with it. Not only an Ace of Cups, but an Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands talks about being very compassionate, um, looking forward to this as a new opportunity for this person to create the actual type of relationship that they've always desired and wanted here. This person finally now has their willpower back and they're looking at you in this relationship as a new opportunity for growth.
okay? Wow, I love it. I love the outcome that is coming towards here. Clarify the Seven of Wands here for Aries. Why do we have the Seven of Wands here in reverse, Guardian Angels Ancestors? Clarify the Seven of Wands here in reverse. Clarify the Seven of Wands here in reverse, please. Thank you, Spirit Guides. We got the, uh-oh, the Nine of Swords here. This is also Gemini's energy here or Aquarius or Libra energy. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, now that they've um, opened up more here, um, they're ready to come towards you with the offer, with an offer, with the Page of Pentacles that talks about the beginning stage of planting a seed together, working together, collaborating together here. The Nine of Swords, this is what was always on this person's mind here. This is why this person kind of, you know, failed at getting rest and sleep because they was always going back and forth in their mind about the connection with you and well what if this happens or what if that happens or what if this doesn't turn out right what if i'm treated the way i was treated in the past a lot of that was going on in this person's head i feel like for quite some time now but now that they've been able to you know put that situation past them and the more that you've been here and opening up to this person and they could see more of the genuine energy that you're bringing towards them. It allowed this person slowly but surely to have a different perspective on just how relationships are. And because of that, they're slowly but surely here, Aries, finally now coming towards you and opening up here. Okay. Wow, Rams. Again, Duffy, if this reading has resonated, smash, hit that like button, all right? That'd be very much appreciated. Let's see. I'm going to close out with using my famous Raw Tarot index cards here. Let's see what do they want to say here, okay? Oh, look at that. Uh-oh, sorry about that. Wow. Yeah, so they was definitely lonely for quite some time, you know, trying to figure this out and realizing that I can't keep treating Aries like this. I can't keep having Aries going back and forward. I got to let Aries know what's going on because remember that moon card came out. This person was hiding their feelings and keeping the way that they was feeling about just everything that they experienced here from the past. They was holding all that information in. And how would you be able to help this person or understand this person if they wasn't allowing themselves to open up and vent and express themselves to you? But I feel like now you maybe opened that door or allow them to be able to, you know, unwind and know that it's okay. And I feel like now that they've seen that side of you, you really allow this person to open up here. And now all they want is you, okay? They realize that you're not here trying to force them to do anything from their own free will that they don't want to do. And because of that, you allowed this person to, you know, open up more independently on their own here. And I feel like once before, when you see that this was taking place and affecting the relationship, you kind of pull back is why this person felt lonely here. Because you're, I mean, you're the first Zodiac sign. You're definitely not going to force no one to be in a situation that they want to be in, okay? And the minute that you pull back your energy, then they begin to start feeling alone, okay? Which, of course, that makes sense. But, you know, they're coming to their senses now and understanding that I cannot let Aries go, okay? Aries was someone that was good to me. Aries didn't force me to do anything out of my will that I didn't want to do. And all Aries was wanting was someone to be genuine and open up to them. So they're finally now letting their guard down, Aries, okay? Wow, Rams. I definitely hope that resonated for you, loves. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here but again if you would love to see what the potential outcome for you and this person in the near future i would love to pull some love romance angel cards here to see what the potential outcome and get some messages with some oracle decks from your ancestors as well okay so definitely if you would love to book a personal reading my email details is down below uh thank you so much again for your love and your support thank you so tribe it's always a pleasure and remember to adjust your notification bells love so you could be aware of when i go live on this platform Form. And if you have questions you would love to ask, I do answer questions during my live stream and I also set aside separate live streams if you have a question in your future that you would like to ask as well. Thank you so much, Aries, and I wish you and this person the best, my loves. Bye-bye.